ganglion cyst of the wrist. Ganglion cyst of the wrist is a very common hand mass. It is not a tumor. It is basically a cyst that's filled with a gelatinous fluid and it transilluminates. Transilluminate means transmits light through it. So what causes a ganglion cyst? Nobody really knows the exact cause of a ganglion cyst. But it seems that this cyst is filled with fluid, either from the tendon sheath or from the joint. The ganglion cyst of the wrist can be either on the dorsal aspect or the volar aspect of the wrist. The dorsal type is common and is not as bad as the volar one and it arises from the scapulo-leonate articulation as you can see here in this diagram. The volar type is not as common and it can compress the radial artery or compress a nerve. You always try to check for the two nerves, the median nerve and the unknown nerve. So the volar cyst can be bad. It can compromise the circulation in the hand. The volar type arises from the radiocarpal joint, which is the wrist joint. So how this ganglion cyst present itself? Usually the ganglia itself doesn't cause any symptoms. So it looks like a well-defined mass or a bump localized, smooth, and not attached to the skin. And if it is in the dorsal aspect, it becomes very obvious when you flex the wrist. And if it is a volar ganglia, it becomes obvious when you extend the wrist. The patients are more concerned about the look and the cosmesis. When you examine the patient, you want to make sure the volar ganglia does not affect the circulation of the hand. So we do something called the Allen test. The Allen test will evaluate the flow of the circulation in the radial and the ulnar arteries. The MRI is not routinely done, but if it is done for whatever reason, there is usually a fluid signal inside the mass. The ultrasound is a good study to see the relationship between the volar cyst and the artery. And the ultrasound also is good when you try to aspirate this ganglion cyst that's near the artery. It's not a tumor, so we don't do a biopsy. So what is the treatment of this ganglion cyst? The treatment usually observation. You just watch it. In some cases, you may want to aspirate the cyst. Put a needle in and aspirate that fluid. You would try to avoid aspiration of the ganglion cyst in the volar aspect because it's near the artery. You don't want to put the needle in the artery. So it may be better to use ultrasound during aspiration of the volar ganglion cyst. The aspiration is usually done for the dorsal cyst. There is a high recurrence rate of aspiration of the dorsal ganglion cyst, about 50%. There is not much risk with the aspiration. So maybe aspiration of a dorsal ganglion cyst is worth it. How about surgery? When do we do surgery? Surgery is done for severe symptoms and if the cyst is painful or if there is neurovascular compromise. When you excise the cyst, you resect the capsule and the stalk. You track the root and you excise the root of the cyst. The cyst comes back in about 10% if it is in the dorsal aspect. The recurrence rate about 20% if it is in the volar aspect. But it is imperative to do the Allen test to check the blood flow 
before you excise a volar ganglion cyst. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.